If you struggle with shyness or social anxiety, check out our free no BS training course with actual useful advice you can do from home. None of that just get out there nonsense. The link is in the description below. For now, let's get to today's question. The question, what's the difference between shyness and insecurity? It might be better to think of them as being interconnected rather than being different. Interconnected but not interchangeable. At its root, shyness is a lack of skills to use in a social situation. This lack of skills is compounded by anxiety in many cases. The anxiety itself may have many positive factors. Perhaps a previous social encounter didn't go well. Or somebody hurt your feelings. Or there was a lot of emotion involved. Taking anger as an example, our mind works in the background. It processes past experiences, puts its own interpretation on it, then brings it to the present. It treats the present like it has interpreted the past. If you had negative emotions attached to an event, they are likely to be brought forward to the present in the form of insecurity. Insecurity merely means that a person is unsure of themselves. So, while insecurity accompanies shyness, can a person be insecure and not shy? While others will agree, I'm going to disagree. I think the answer lays in how we perceive shyness and one example of its opposite, outgoingness. Just because a person appears to be outgoing, it doesn't necessarily mean that they are not shy. Many people compensate for their shortcomings by becoming or appearing what they aren't. That's a little different from the old adage of fake it until you make it. In one situation, they may appear to be outgoing but if the situation is different, their insecurities will take over and perpetuate the shyness. Even people that have seemingly overcome their insecurities and become less shy, can still be shy in social situations that they are unprepared for. Thanks for your thought-provoking question. Find more answers and a free audiobook on how to talk to anyone in the description below. No useless advice like just get out there I mean actual useful advice from people who have really dealt with shyness and social anxiety and overcome it in their own lives.